Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix double movement 2.0. But before we start, I already made a video on how to fix double movement 1.0 when there's a pop in my mouth or about port or play 2 or something like that. If you're going to want to go watch that, I'll put the link in the description and also on the end screen. But before we start, can you guys please remember to leave a like and subscribe and also the notifications on. I would really appreciate it and without a way, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on the link in the description where it says double movement or key to x input. I'll also show you why I prefer key to x input instead of wiki double movement, which I used in the past, and I'll tell all the reasons I'll also show you how to install. I even went as far to uninstall my virtual bus and also uninstall key to x input and wiki double movement to show you guys how this works. So the first thing you want to do is click the link in the description, and if it takes you to this setting you just want to go here to the download and you want to click this download button this is very important make sure you don't click something else or if you want to install and you want to open it now if you see this message pop up all you want to do is you want to say more information and say run anyway so you guys don't have to worry this program is 100 safe there's so many pros that use it i personally also use it and to show that it's not going to harm your system i'm going to install it on my system so the first thing you want to do is you want to say I agree to license in terms of conditions. You don't really need to read this but if you want to you can do it in your own time. So you want to say agree and you want to say install. But all you do is you install it but please remember to um, unplug your controller otherwise this might not work. In my case it did work but for some people it might not. So after that happens all you want to do is say launch. And after the launch up you can change the settings here. So this is a little bit more advanced than uh, with the double movement but it's also easier to see how, how it works. If you prefer the circle one, you can see how the circle works. You can also see the strafing angle of the characters and stuff. Mine personally is 69.95. And strafing angles, there's only settings if you want to copy it. Uh, obviously, if you copy it, just say apply. You can also see all pro settings. If you go back to the link in the description, go to pro settings. You can go to any pro settings and just click here and you can see what the settings is for the double movement. Another thing is, I know there's a lot of people that's gonna have problems with double movement and it's not gonna work. There's so many easy fixes. So the first one is, obviously you wanna enable D-pad. I don't think it's gonna work if you disable it. Uh, for buttons, obviously enabled. And for options, so this is a very important part. For some people, this might work if this is on PlayStation and some people this might work if it's on Xbox. So make sure to test each one out otherwise sometimes it will work and sometimes it will not for the second one is you want to use uh, Fortnite Advance just to make it way easier to use for bus jump workaround you obviously want to say uh, enable okay. with all those settings enabled and everything changed exactly the same as my settings you make sure please make sure you minimize this otherwise it will not work if you exit it or close it it will not work so always make sure you minimize it and if you want to exit it and just close it again, all you do is right click on the task manager, right click and say exit. Okay, now that we're in game, I'm going to show you how it works. And I just recently switched to uh, Xtrashrace, but if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, please let me know in the comments below. And then I might make a tutorial on how to go to this Xtrashrace without any alignment bugs where if you sometimes click here it doesn't work. But without that way, you want to go first to your settings. Which, if you did not know with the new interface, you just press there, go settings, and there with settings there. So, the first thing you want to do is you always want to make sure lock input method as mouse is on. And put ignore gamepad off. Otherwise, if you put ignore gamepad on, it's not going to work. And if you put lock input to mouse, it's going to be a weird and glitchy. So, make sure you have that. Another thing you want to do is you also want to remove all of your movement lines. Please remember to do this. I've seen so many people have this problem where they don't remove the movement binds and then they can't move or either they're stuck with default movement. So please make sure these are removed, otherwise it will not work. And also put these two settings on. As you guys can see, my double movement is working perfectly fine. I can move left to right if I press W and A and or W and D. Even if I strafe like this, my double movement is set to that, it's working perfectly fine. Even for the D and A, it also works perfectly fine. So if you guys want to copy my settings, I already showed you guys what my settings is. Just keep in mind that it will take some time for, for some people to get used to. It's not always as easy as just using it and working perfectly fine. Um, so if you want to do some training, just move like this or do some side jumps where you, for instance like that. 
or if you want to do more side jumps, do this practice. This is a really good practice, but believe me, that movement is really good. If you want to see like the advantages, you don't believe me, it's worth switching. Uh, I will give you some examples. If somebody is like somewhere here in the wall, you see somebody there, you can just W and A, and you can still both and see them. Obviously, you have to move sometimes the camera to see. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's way better than normal default movement. And without double movement, it would be impossible to do that. As you guys can see, it's also easier to do those high country takes. For if you want to create a warrior and you want to make some clips, also looks a little bit more satisfying than not using double movement. Bro. <laughs> I've been Fortnite. It's balance, bro. Fortnite, please give us that epic service. I promise we'd be good. We'd pay you, please. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you out, or at least some of you guys out. I will make a video on how to get stretch resolution or how to boost FPS. Uh, stay tuned for that one. So please remember to leave the like and subscribe with notifications on. And with that out of the way, enjoy the rest of your guys' day.